by the morning. The hashtag today is Thursday vibe. And uh, the topic is still on election management. We have another system here. By uh, The system is called MyCura and it has been developed by a company that uh, will be introduced in just a while by our guest over here, Marion Karibu and uh, Nicholas. So introduce yourself. My name is Marion Lugada and I am the developer for Mykura. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The company the is Tech Hub. The company is Tech Hub. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Nicholas? Okay. Good morning. morning. Um, I'm Nicholas Mugambi, co-founder of Mykura. Very humbled to be here and very thankful mm -hmm. for the opportunity to host Mykura. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for being here. Yeah. So what does the company do before we get into my career? Maybe you can tell us. Okay, so basically what we do is develop solutions, mm. solutions that make our lives more better and mm. easier. For example, the Mycura product, which we are showcasing today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Marion, tell us about uh, the, the software now, my career. So Mycura is a USSD voting technology system mm. that uh, we use USSD technology just like you can dial star 544 hash for Safaricom to buy bundles. Mm -hmm. Now you can dial a code that we will dedicate to the users mm. and then uh, you will be able to vote for the person that you want. Mm. So the system can be used on any, any phone. That should be smartphones, uh, feature phones, the Kabambe. Mm -hmm. So the system is convenient to be used by anyone uh, around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a system that uses USSD. When you're not familiar, you star one, you know, whatever. Yes. Yes. Hash, and it can be used on any phone. Yeah. Yes. Can we have a demonstration of yeah. how it works? Yeah, we can have that. Mm -hmm. As you can see now, I have a, a, the normal feature phone, the mm -hmm. Kabambe phone, and the smartphone. Okay. So for demonstration, I'm going to showcase using this Kabambe. Then we also have you using okay. showcasing using the, your smartphone right. since we already have the code live up and running mm -hmm. for today. Okay. Yeah. So now, uh, what's the code you're pressing? So I'm dialing star four eight three. Uh huh. Should I do the same? Yeah, you can yes. do the same. Uh huh. Star, star? four eight three. Okay. Star. Let me do that. Star four eight three. Yeah. Star. Mm -hmm. Twelve. 12 star hash. Star 12? Star 12, 12 hash. 12, 12 hash. Yes. And then I uh, press You it? call, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so what's coming up? It says, uh, should yeah. it show on your phone? Yeah. Is it showing? Yeah. Uh, show it to the camera over there. They'll zoom in to see. It says on my phone, it says, which president are you voting for on August 8th, 2022? And we have option one and option two as uh, Ruto and Raila. Do you know we have 47 candidates? Yeah, we are <laughs> right. Almost to know. So yeah. how will, will you add that to the system yeah, during yeah. the election? Yeah, we can do that Okay. with further research and mm -hmm. into the USSD technology. Okay, so yeah. this is the first step. Now I, I've seen the two candidates yeah. that are there. Uh -huh. yeah. So... Your your next step is to select your preferred candidate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can so, just select. Uh, wow, well, this. Let me do a random selection. Uh huh. So after selecting, it says, "Are you sure you want to vote?" Uh -huh. Yeah, that rules out the case of spoiled votes, mm -hmm. whereby you confirm the vote, ensuring that every vote is casted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so maybe you can show us live with my phone from your side. Okay. Uh huh. So we can see. And the person that you are going to select, it's very anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> Just to make that clear. Uh -huh. Star 4? 483. Uh -huh. Star 1212 hash. Okay. Yeah. So is it showing? Uh huh. What has it, has it brought up? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Tell us what is there. I have voted for person A. Uh -huh. And I've confirmed my vote. Uh -huh. And the vote has been updated here. So the vote has real, been updated. Real time. Real time. Yeah. So can we see what is the, yeah. the, the updated vote? Just have the laptop there. Okay. Uh, we're going to focus. I know. Uh -huh. So see. this is the website that we, we created mm -hmm. whereby where um, 
when a person votes, mm -hmm. the vote increases as per the person who has been voted for. Let's say we vote for person A. Mm -hmm. The vote for person A will will increase automatically. Uh, automatically. Yeah. So anyone can see it. So now I've voted but I've not registered to vote? No. Yeah. Right now we are we are not registering people. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Yeah. This is just for demonstration yeah. purposes. Yes. So yeah. now uh, do we see from the laptop yeah, that... Yeah. Actually I can see that uh -huh. Kenyans are voting because the votes are Mm -hmm. yeah, they are increasing. They're increasing. Yeah, they're so increasing. can I vote for the same for another person still? You, can, you cannot vote again. Aha! Uh -huh. So yeah. it's only once. Yeah. I can only vote once yeah. from my phone. Yeah, which is the which is the purpose of election, mm -hmm. so that we don't have double voting. Okay. Yeah. So more about it. So, of the system, mm -hmm. we are since it's the if we are still in development and production, mm -hmm. we are looking forward for incubation. Mm -hmm. by by a commission by a commission such as IBC so that so, such that we can have a situation whereby mm -hmm. we don't have queuing we don't have to stop our businesses just to vote we can make it just a, a normal activity as you can see mm -hmm. I'm voting from here you're voting from there yeah yeah that's our target that's that's just it. There's no queue. You can vote from the comfort of my home yeah. very quickly. Yeah. All right. So comparing this to the current system that is there with the IBC, starting from uh, voter registration, so how will you uh, incorporate this, Marion? Okay. Let's say, for example, we are doing this for the national elections mm -hmm. for the for IEBC. Mm -hmm. You see, we already have the the system for where the people have already registered as voters mm -hmm. so let's say for example so using if the I, system that we can mm -hmm. use that or if they, they are they are comfortable mm -hmm. we can still register people first before mm -hmm. we start using the system okay yeah that will be much easier because we are, we are using a special identifier that is the national id everyone has only one id number Mm -hmm. In that case, people cannot vote twice because you, you only have one, one ID number and a phone number registered to it that you can vote with. So yeah. prior to this, uh, you know, prior to my voting, mm -hmm. will, they, uh, will the system, you know, confirm my ID number first mm -hmm. before me casting my vote? Yeah, first of all, the, 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 we have a database mm -hmm. whereby the, the registered voters will be stored in the database. Okay. Now when you dial the code, the, mm -hmm. the, the back, okay, I don't know how to put this because it's something that is developed. Uh -huh. uh, the code checks, checks if your ID number is registered, mm -hmm. like the number that you, have, you are voting with, if it is registered. Uh -huh. If it is not, then the system will not allow you to vote. Okay, yeah. yeah. So that will be yes, more or less a spoiled vote. Yeah, it won't work. Now, uh, again, comparing it to the current system, after voting, we usually have that stamp on our <laughs> on our fingers. Mm. So to to show that we we have already voted, we can't mm. vote again. Yes. So uh, on yours, you've said it automatically won't allow you it to vote automatically again. Automatically mm. won't allow you to vote. You will dial the code again and again, but you won't vote because mm -hmm. you're already in the database. All right. Yes. And now from there, uh, Nicholas, tell us about the transmission. Now everyone has casted their vote, and mm. now uh, the transmission bit of it. Oh, the transmission. Mm -hmm. Since we are, we are targeting the locally available network, Mm -hmm. which for example now the 2G is widely spread throughout the country mm -hmm. so we are we are looking at a situation whereby we don't have we don't have claims that there was no network at some point in the country so the results were not being able to be sent like how it was in the 2017 yeah. election that's why we are utilizing the ussd since it you it just needs the 2G network mm -hmm. meaning that people can vote okay yeah so does it stop at voting or does do you do the counting and the transmission to the stations, the, like to the bombers of Kenya, yes. how we do it? Does your process stop at voting? Mm. We, mm. We, we are looking at a situation where mm -hmm. we think we have a central database, where okay. when everyone votes, the votes go to a central database. Mm -hmm. Like as we said, the votes will be counted and they will be displayed automatically on the website when the people vote, like oh. the, the, the votes will mm -hmm. be counting. Okay. So that means that it's also counting, like it doesn't it stop at voting. Okay. We'll so have the, re the full results. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In real time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we're using, what would you say are some of the benefits of this system? Why would we uh, replace this, replace the current system with uh, the system that you have developed, my Kura? Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's look in at sustainability. Mm -hmm. We'll not have 
the recurrent, recurrent printing of ballot papers and boxes that cuts the budget mm -hmm. by half. We'll not have spending like 2,500 per voter. Mm -hmm. That budget will really go down. When you look on something like connectivity, um, conveniency, yeah. Okay. Yes. And uh, much as security? Security-wise, mm -hmm. we, are, we are looking forward for investment in, in security, for example, in technology like blockchain, mm -hmm. so that we can enhance its security, the security of the system. Okay, because yeah. I, know, I know it's secure when you use it with uh, the USSD, yes. it's a secure line, but now bringing their websites uh, into the picture mm -hmm. uh, attracts some insecurity issues like mm -hmm. hacking and all that. Mm -hmm. So you're hoping to attract Come again with that. I'm hoping, I've said, mm -hmm. we're looking forward to, to investors to invest in its security. Okay. For example, with technology such as blockchain, yeah, intense firewalls, mm -hmm. intense encryption. Mm -hmm. And from the website, you see it's ju it just displays the results. Mm -hmm. It does not, do, does not do anything with the voting. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you've said you're looking to be incubated by IBC. Have yes. you approached them, Myron? That is what we are currently working on mm -hmm. and we hope that they will get back to us yes. mm -hmm. and we will get to be incubated by them. So it's something that you're still working on? Yeah, it's yes. something that we are still working on. They have, no, they are not, they have not yet come mm -hmm. back to us. Okay. Yes. Any other functionalities that are there with your system? Other functionalities? Added, added, any other added functionalities that come with, this, uh, with the system? Mm -hmm. So currently, mm -hmm. that is all we have for the voting, mm -hmm. but as a company, like we said, we are planning to establish a company known as Tech Hub. Mm -hmm. we, we are hoping to have uh, the, the, the system do surveys, polls, yeah, like you see polls for nomina nominations and mm -hmm. whatnot. So we've actually had another interview just before this and mm -hmm. they're actually doing that already, so yeah. it's very uh, possible. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And what are the future plans? Any other future plans that you have uh, with the system? Mm, future plans is to scale out, to scale out. Mm -hmm. In terms, in that we have the system mm -hmm. being used in a situation such as a by-election, mm -hmm. by IBC. Yeah. 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 All right. Any other thing about the system that we have not touched on? I think that's all. Uh, not forgetting to mention again that mm -hmm. the system is very convenient. Yeah. very very convenient because mm -hmm. you see uh, it will give uh, everyone a chance to 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 vote because mm -hmm. uh, the youths are the youths the elderly let me say the youths are lazy to go make lines to vote because even as we were doing we we had a tech expo in jquat and mm -hmm. we were doing um we were talking to people, mm -hmm. asking them, asking them if the system is okay, mm -hmm. and the students were like, "That's very nice because we don't like making lines to to go to vote for people standing there in the adverse weather conditions. Maybe it's it's the sun is really hot or it's raining. They are they are afraid of that. So the system provides convenience in such a way that." they will be able to vote at the comfort of, of their places anywhere they feel comfortable they can just vote and that is very easy okay yes. uh, quite quite interesting mm -hmm. and uh, with the system from you know the other side of the studio mm -hmm. <laughs> they they're saying that the votes are increasing for certain candidates so are there people who are already voting or maybe yeah. it's our viewers <laughs> yeah, people 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 are already voting people are already testing out the system because it is live mm -hmm. yeah it is so live. people are probably uh, testing the system. Yeah, so yeah. it is really working. Yeah, it's working, as you ah, can see. Aha. The votes are increasing real time, fast, mm -hmm. convenient. Yeah. So would you say the system is ready for use? Maybe after you have uh, talked out with IBC and everything is good, would you say that it would be ready for? It's ready for use, or there are other developments that need to be done. First of all, if IEBC accepts to incubators, mm -hmm. that will be really nice because the system will be ready as the incubators, the system will be, I think it will be very ready to yeah. be used. Okay. Yeah. How did you come up, as we come to a close, how did you come up with this idea mm -hmm. as, you know, because you are the founder? Yeah. Okay, so this idea hit my mind back in 2017 when we were preparing for the general election mm -hmm. and in mind was the situation that We'll have to close our businesses. We'll have to go to Ushago. Mm -hmm. We'll have to, to do a lot of things because of voting. So I was thinking about what is the future? What, how can we make 
voting easier in this country. Mm -hmm. And that's how, that's how we started this idea. And when I came to campus, I decided on actually actual, ma making it happen, whereby I, I was assisted by my co-founder, mm -hmm. Jackson, who has really played a great role, and a developer such as Marion. Yeah. And, that, and I understand that it's not only, uh, you know, in use for the national elections, but mm. any elections. Yeah, mm. considering an election like an university election, mm. we're hoping to conduct that for our university, JQUAT. For now, they're using ballot, but we are in, in talks with them to use such a system. Okay, so yeah. uh, JQUAT might just be the first uh, to, to use it. Yeah. Okay, that would be nice. Um, Marion, any final words uh, for the viewers? Maybe an encouragement to any innovator out there or uh, developer? To any innovator out there, I will just tell you that every idea is valid. Mm -hmm. And as we are still young, the youths, we are like, I would say we are like a bomb, ready to explode with ideas. Mm -hmm. So just take advantage of that. You take your idea out there. It doesn't matter if it fails right now. People have failed and they are still back in the industry and they are, they are making it. Wow, yes. thank you. Uh, Nikri, let's finish, uh, you know, with w what vision do you have for our country in matters elections and mm -hmm. uh, what's your word for the innovators out there? Okay, so my word for election in this country... My, your vision for, my, you know, what you want. Yeah. Uh, I, would, I would like to see a situation whereby we have a very convenient and easy voting system such as this and maybe upgrade of itself. Yeah, and my word to innovators out there is to make it happen, make the idea happen. It may not be easy, but that is the road to success. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much guys for coming. And uh, we wish you the best in this innovation. You'll yes. do great. Thank you for representing us. Thanks for having us. All right. Yeah, so uh, that has been the second interview with yet some other innovators who have come up with MyCora, an election management system. Uh, that bring, brings an end to the Sport on Tech segment. But Val will be coming up with some entertainment. So don't go too far. We'll be right back.